from the Artin Villa mine, Messina, South Africa, quite an intricate crystal structure. Um, a floater, I believe, uh, solid quartz, quartz crystal, crystalline across the top. Uh, let me just show you the reflections of the crystal faces. A little struggling a bit to zoom. This is, this will be probably just under four centimeters, edge to edge. <clears throat> Not a very large piece, but I find it very, very interesting. Lots of inclusions of most likely Piemontite and Epidote. Um, I'll have a good look for color, but what I am going to do, I'm going to give you a... Let's see if we can have a good look for color across like this. So I'll move it across there. Crystallization, little explosion of crystals happening across there. I don't think this one has color, but there's always the possibility. Of course, when I talk of color in, in Messina, we're always talking of the the uh, the turquoise and the blue, the adjoite and the papagoat. Mind you, if you have uh, Messina quartzes in your collection, you should maybe have a look at them, a good look at them with a loop, and you may find little sprays of needles inside them, and uh, depending on how compacted the sprays are, um, you'd, you'd see the turquoise color, which would be the adjuite as an inclusion. Of course, copper-related minerals. Uh, Messina mines were essentially copper mines. Uh, actually, very interesting, built on, uh, or, or the shafts were sunk on prehistoric digging, digging. So our forefathers were very wise too. They knew where to find certain ores.